Here we go. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to the very last stream of Aw Shucks for Rose Gauntlet. Now, we have been having an amazing weekend, yes. <laughs> and I'm already giving away everything that we're supposed to be hiding because I left it up on the screen. We're going to be showing off the solo version of the game, <laughs> nice. and you guys are going to be getting an early sneak preview of um, the final version of some of the pages in the Field Journal, which we're super excited um, to talk about. Um, we've set up the game here in solo mode within um, TTS instead of Tabletopia that we've been playing in. The reason for that is because we have a more um, robust access to some of the cards that we've kept secret from you uh, <laughs> in the Tabletopia <laughs> mode. Um, just because we wouldn't want to ruin the surprise or some cool stuff that you're going to be able to unlock um, within the solo mode. You're going to get some awesome envelopes. Um, uh, in the game, and you're also going to have this amazing field journal, which we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna preview. But before we dive into that, Lindsay, you want to talk about how you felt um, over the course of the last three days? What it's been like to Twitch? Like what we've done? Twenty eight <laughs> yeah. hours of streaming. <laughs> Twenty eight hours of streaming. This is a big first for us. At most, we've done two <laughs> before <Yes>. this. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> so that's a lot. What? Are, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I'm feeling good. I have like that happy buzz that you have at the end of cons, which is really cool because I really yeah. didn't know how I would feel the digital con, whether it would feel like I'm gaming with my friends. And it really has, which has been awesome. Um, I'm definitely tired. I'm also really excited because the last weekend has totally made all the equipment I bought months ago in excitement worth it. Yes. And I used everything. <laughs> so that was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I think it's been a huge success. I'm so happy we decided to do this. Um, I know the schedule was really aggressive, but I'm so glad we, we pushed for it and we, we did all everything that we did. Um, yeah. And everyone's loving Keystone and that's just so cool. Like, yes. I don't know if you've seen the Discord. People were coming back saying they played it yesterday and they loved it and they're just so excited. And getting that, that really helps, I think, designers and then us as publishers, like, you know, go through Absolutely. the grind. It's really energizing. Absolutely. Um, the reception that we've gotten has been astounding. Um, we've been so incredibly happy with the amount of good feelings that we've got, not only on the, not only on the stream um, with the guests that we've had, them loving the game and enjoying it and figuring out the strategy and uh, getting really <laughs> into the game has been really funny. Um, and also seeing... Um, all of the amazing, all of the amazing feedback that we've gotten from demoers, um, all of the demo team that um, was able to help us out this weekend. They did an absolutely amazing job. We are yeah, so proud thank you. and so thankful for them. Them, we could not have done this entire <laughs> stream yeah. setup without them. So thank you guys so much. You've been a godsend. It's been absolutely amazing to have you on our team and everybody has been, we have heard nothing but great things. So yeah, um, so thank you for doing such a good job and representing our game super well. We really, really appreciate that. Yeah. You did a great job too, just representing us as a company and our values. It sounds mm -hmm. like you, everyone just did an amazing job. So you're all invited. If you ever want to volunteer again, the whole team aced it. Like you're all good. And we've also seen an uptick on all of the key uh, Kickstarter um, signups, which has been amazing. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw in the chats also the um link to the kickstarter page for keystone we would really really appreciate it if you guys signed up for um for the early pre-launch page it really lets us know how much marketing we have to do moving forward whether or not people understand um, um that the game's coming out next month they want to get notified if they're interested in the game so the more of you that sign up um really really does help us um get a good understanding of where we need to be and what we need to approach in order to make sure that we have a successful Kickstarter launch. Um, so I have went ahead and added the, the link to the chat. If you could go there, please sign up. That would be super helpful. We would appreciate it. Now, we're going to be diving into the solo, which is probably yeah, why you guys are here. Spoilers. <laughs> let's do some spoilers. So like I kind of said earlier, we have a field journal that's going to be going through 
um, the different steps that um, you play within the game. Um, Lindsay, I'm going to go ahead and actually email you over um, the intro page because I think the intro page might be a good way to start off because it does really explain um, sure. the the um, the game really, really well um, and also gives players a really good understanding of you know what they're going to be getting into and it's kind of a fun welcome yes, as I well. like it I I wrote it I wrote all the things yes so I'm a little nervous <laughs> Lindsay was our amazing this is the first time I'll be reading everything I wrote to people amazing writer for um the field journal she did a fantastic job doing the research and getting us really good stories that are going to help represent what field uh, junior field biologists and field biologists do um, of course, there's a little uh, creative freedom taken with um, <laughs> the amount of traveling that happens. Yeah, um, <laughs> most of your biologists do not go get to go on a whirlwind country <laughs> exactly, tour. Exactly, exactly. Right out of school um, with all their dream mentors. <laughs> but it's a great way to kind of abstract that and still show a lot of the different things that are taking place around North America and the continent and uh, helping in helping uh, these keystone animals and other animals stay um in good in, in healthy ways um in healthy ecosystems and make sure that their ecosystems stay healthy sorry it is the last day. it's the last <laughs> My words are not coming out the last as, day. as elegantly as i would like um so uh without any further ado i've sent you that did you get the email yep i'm good to go you're all set Lindsay's gonna go ahead and introduce this first page and i'm gonna pull it up here on the screen as well so you guys can follow along this is going to be the first page in the field journal it's kind of introducing you to what the field journal is um gives you a kind of overview of how to utilize the field journal we're going to be previewing one scenario of 20 that are in mm -hmm. the field journal mm -hmm. that we're going to be providing um and uh, kind of just give you a little quick preview of some others without playing through them we're just going to be playing the one um, we won't read them though. We won't keep them up on the screen for too long. <laughs> um, but you guys will get this. Uh, we'll definitely do some more previews, um, in the upcoming weeks as we get closer and closer to the Kickstarter. We hope that you enjoy what we're doing with the solo version of the game. We're really, really proud of it. And, uh, let me go ahead and throw this up on the screen and you can go ahead and start Lindsay. Nice. Am I reading it, Isaac? You are going to go ahead and read the first page. Okay. Excellent. Um, the welcome page. Yeah. The welcome page, yep. All right. So, I will wait till it pops up on chat so everyone can follow along. <laughs> yeah, it has probably to be good. timed correctly, Isaac. It's probably good. That's probably good. We're <laughs> just going to wait and see All right, what perfect. pops up. All right. So, welcome to, and you'll have a chance to fill in your name here, it's been a pleasure to mentor you through your education. Over the past few years, I have watched you grow from a shy student to a very capable field biologist. As a junior biologist, you'll be spending the next year in the field, working with teams from around the world. On your journey, you'll meet zoologists, ecologists, climatologists, and many others. I know you've always had a passion for North American keystone animals, and I'm excited to see you follow your passion out in the world. This field journal is my graduation present to you. As you know, a biologist's field journal is their most important tool. Within this book, you'll find the different assignments you'll be expected to complete. There are three important parts to pay attention to when completing a new assignment. One, some assignments may require you to set up the game in a unique way. Sometimes researching requires a new approach, so make sure you're always checking the assignments set up to ensure you're starting off right. Two, some assignments may have special rules for you to follow. As you travel, your destinations will have different regulations and customs, so make sure you read the special rules carefully. All assignments have unique wind conditions. You'll be studying something different with each assignment, and the wind conditions will let you know when you've completed your work. Obviously, your field journal is important, so don't lose it in a river or canyon on your travels. By the end of the year, I expect its pages to be filled with many exciting observations and discoveries. Sincerely, Professor Howe. So this is kind of a great introduction to getting you guys in the mood of what's going to be happening within the field journal. It's going to be very much story based. You're going to have some awesome stories that are associated with um, the different aspects of the field journal. It's taking from the perspective that you are this field uh, or this field junior field biologist that's going out there that's starting that um, new adventure. And you have these different scenarios that you're going to have to uh 
try to beat in order to move on to the next ones. And they're also going to uh, give you the opportunity to potentially unlock new animals that you can add mm-hmm. into your game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and scroll through a couple of the pages that we've gotten done. We were very lucky to have our graphic designer, Dave, and our artist um, who's working on this part of the game, Alyssa, uh, turn in some of few pages so that we can go ahead and preview them with you today. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and preview a couple, but then we're going to go ahead and stop with the last one. Um, and then we're actually going to play it. And then Lindsay's going to read that one for us. Um, you guys will be able to go ahead and probably look more through it a little bit when we have some previews up online. Um, we don't want to spoil too much for you. So you guys have more opportunities to read through the journal as you play. Um, but what this will do is just kind of give you a good overview as to what to expect when playing through the field journal. Um, If you guys have any questions as you're watching, please feel free to ask them. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have about solo play. Once Lindsay's through kind of giving you the overview of the um, Keystone page, we're actually going to go ahead and have her start playing uh, the scenario, which has already been set up on her on her side of the screen. And we'll see Uh, how that goes. (laughs) And we'll see how that goes. We'll see if I win that. (laughs) So... All right, so here's the first page. (laughs) Let me go and scroll through on actual PDF, and we'll go and start it. So here we have Assignment 1, Orientation Day. Um, You can see that there's going to be some fun sketch work. Um, There's an entire story here that kind of gets you in the mood of the scenario that you're playing, um, as well as it tells you what the setup is, the special rules, if there are any, and it will tell you what the assignment will be. So how many points you will have to score is very typical of most assignments, and you'll also have some other conditions as well. We have a preview here of assignment number two, um, which is going to be a fun one. I won't spoil the reason for some of these images, but it's really, really cool. <laughs> assignment two has, I think, the best art possibly. We've just seen all the finished art yet, but it's got to have some of the best art in the entire journal. It's it's very, very cute, and I'm it's very excited for you guys to get into it. Again, it has its setup, some special rules, and some assignments that you guys can check out. Um, and lastly, we have assignment six, working with uh, working white sands, and it's going to be a very interesting one. And Lindsay's going to go ahead and jump into it now. So you guys, I'm going to leave it on up on the screen while Lindsay's uh, listening to it, and then I'm going to kind of make it smaller. It'll still stay up on the screen, but I want you guys to be able to see Lindsay playing through. Um, and if you guys have any questions about the c- uh, scenario, please feel free to ask. Yeah, so this is assignment six. We've jumped ahead a little bit, working White Sands. Today I'm working in one of the United States' newest national parks. White Sands is in the northern end of the Chihuahuan Desert and was made a national park in 2019. My new team is led by Dr. Ernest Carver, a well-known ecologist and science writer. We're performing research for his science journal, which will report on the impact of humans on Western United States ecosystems. At first, I was thrilled to find out our research was going to start in White Sands. I pictured hiking through snow white dunes of crystallized gypsum sands, looking up the famous desert moon, and examining the fossilized footprints left behind by ice age mammoths. Instead, I've spent weeks falling around a bunch of giant African antelope in the blazing heat while sand got into places, well, places that sand shouldn't be. (laughs) I learned learned that from 1969 to 1977, New Mexico's game commission released 95 oryx into white sands missile range. The goal is to provide big game hunting opportunities for local hunters. Unfortunately, without lions to constantly hunt them, oryx populations boom, and they quickly spread throughout the entire area. Today, their population stands at over 4,000, and they are wreaking havoc on the delicate desert ecosystem here. Due to their massive size, they easily outcompete other species for resources and trample the graceful gypsum dunes. Thankfully, the park rangers have been able to keep the majority of oryx out of the national park with fences but we found that even the small population still here is wreaking havoc. I hope the research we do here will let people know about the dangers of importing exotic animals and releasing them into the wild. Very cool. Thank you, Lindsay. If you want to go ahead and read uh, the setup so people can get an understanding of that as well. Yeah. So during the setup, um, this is a unique thing. So we're going to set up a little bit differently. Um, The first player token is going to go on the board as shown. This is going to represent an actual horde of orcs. Then we add four story tokens. They are on the other side of the research tokens um, to the corners of the player board as shown. And this will represent the orcs herd's path. I'm shuffling the following cards together and we're gonna add them to the field. 
the desert kangaroo rat, the cottontail rabbit, the coyote, the black-tailed jackrabbit, the burrowing owl, and the mountain lion. We're going to use skills 1, 2, and 9, so we only get those skills for this game. Only the desert grassland wild card is available this game. We don't get any secret objectives for our points. We still get our five synergy tokens. So special rules. We have invasive species. When the orcs herd or a story token occupies a space on your player board, that space is unavailable and species cards cannot be added to that space. However, the orcs herd can be moved onto a space that already has a species card or wild card on it. You can build fences. Once per turn, at the end of your turn, we can spend two synergy tokens to move the Oryx herd from their current space into an adjacent space on the player board. If it moves into a space with a story token on it, remove that token from the board and return it to the supply. And then successful removal. Remove the Oryx herd from your player board when there are no more story tokens on the player board. So to win, we're going to need to do three things. We need to end the game with 80 victory points. 80 points. Which is hard. <laughs> Remember, we skipped hard. ahead to number six. So this yes. is hard. We wanted to show you one of the crunchier assignments. For sure. Um, it goes, difficulty kind of amps up as you go along. Um, we're going to end the game with 12 or more desert tokens on our player board. And we're going to end the game with the orcs herd removed. So we're going to successfully build those fences and get them out of white sands. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, you guys can go ahead and keep watch looking at this. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller so we can reveal Lindsay's game play. But we've already set that up here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, reorient the camera so you guys can see Lindsay's playthrough. And as you can see, uh, we've made the setup already for this. You're only going to have one player board that you're going to be playing with, and you have all of this available to you. If you all have just been joining us, we are presenting the solo mode of the campaign. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I'll go ahead and be answering them, but Lindsay's going to go ahead and start playing. Yeah. And uh, we'll go ahead and see if you guys have any questions. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to just zen out here, start <laughs> playing some Keystone. All right, so first we're going to do... I thought, Isaac, that hand was a bug on my screen for a second. So I forgot literally that you are in this game, too. I with am me. in here, too, Lindsay. Yeah. It's like, there's a ghost in here. I'm a ghost. <laughs> all right. Well, all these are desert creatures, so I don't really need to peg and save my money for getting that orcs moved around. So let's start. I'll put the jackrabbit here. I like that. Start moving this down. Lindsay's and the been... rules are essentially the same as uh, multiplayer for the most part. So um, the artists that made the field tiles, um, those are the ones. Um, the, I'm assuming you're talking about the player board, uh, the design on the player board. Um, and uh, uh, if if you're not, just let me know. <laughs> um, but uh, the artist that made that was actually the graphic designers that we had on before we brought Dave on, which was Dimitri and Sasha. Um, who have done a great job kind of bringing over some iconography and that pattern work. And Dave has brought it over to kind of bring, um, bring it all together and really make it stand out in the board game space, um, which is Dave Richards. Uh, he's, he's been a graphic designer in the board game space for many, many years. He previously worked at Plat Hat Games and is now fr doing freelance work. Um, as well, the artist that's working on the field journal, it, her name is Alyssa Minolt, and she actually has done art for us um, already on Life After Dungeons poster, which you can check out on our website, uh, www.rosegauntlet.com. All right, so I got that orcs herd out of there. It's jamming me up here. And then we're going to take. <laughs> A beautiful coyote. I love this coyote it's so much. Coyote. That's going to get me one synergy token. Oh, Isaac. I feel like I've already made terrible decisions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not known for my solo skills. All right. Keep talking while I panic. <laughs> Well, if you guys um, want to know why we decided to uh, work on a solo mode, um, we were talking a little bit of the journey that it took um, to get here for Keystone on our kind of like Keystone journey uh, talk that we had on Friday night. Well, it's definitely up on the stream if you guys want to check that out. Um, and we'll definitely make it a vi YouTube video at some points so that you guys can check out if you're watching this later. Um, the reason that we wanted to make sure that a 
we had something special for Solo is number one, we felt that this game really lended itself very, very well to a Solo experience. Um, secondly, we also wanted to make sure um, that players that didn't have access to um, playing games with people during <laughs> this time that we're in um, had the ability to have something that was interesting, compelling, and that would be very fun to play. We feel that by presenting these awesome campaign, this puzzle, this experience kind of takes you away from the multiplayer competitive version of the game, um, really lends itself well um, in Keystone, and it also lets us introduce some fun different mechanics and really stretches the puzzly aspect of the game to another level. So, um, yeah, that's kind of why we worked on that. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can go ahead and uh, make this image of the field journal um, number six available to you guys. So you guys can go ahead and see that. And I think I'm going to throw it up on Twitter too. Lindsay, do you have any opposition to that? To number six? Yeah. No, I don't have any opposition to that. Cool. Oh, there's that four I'm looking for. Hmm. I really don't need any of these snow animals. These snow animals need to get out of here. So I'm going to flip over this and that will let me discard two cards. Out of here, snowshoe hair. You don't belong in the desert of white sands. <laughs> The artist who did the sketches for the uh, for the field journal um, was really excited about this assignment in particular because she grew up in White Sands and actually went to the Missile Range Elementary School. Um, and she was really excited to see that one of the assignments was based on where she grew up. And we just pretended like that was intentional. <laughs> right <laughs> so cool that, that that just ended up being the case yeah it was just a coincidence <laughs> all right i need that owl is it worth it to lose i'll lose that synergy so i don't know if i it's can throw it. images in chat i don't think i've ever tried <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen that either i don't think i've ever seen that either um so i'm actually gonna go Jeez. ahead and throw this up on twitter um i will go ahead and send you guys a link to my twitter account um and uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out there, I will go ahead and do that. Do, do, do. All right, so we need to research. I need endangered is what I need. All right. So we're going to put two research tokens on the spotted owl. That's what's going to happen. This is going to boost our points. We need to get 80, which is a lot of points. A lot of points, Isaac. <laughs> what were we thinking? All right, let's move this Oryx out of the way. All right, and that story token's gone because it moved on top. Oh, and I get to... I'm, I'm doing this out of order. I'm so zoned out. All right, so I also need to discard two cards for the um, no worries, skill no that worries. I did. Yeah. I'm attaching this image to Twitter so people can see it. Let's see if I can bring it up. We have so much imagery that we've uh, <laughs> thrown out here. Oh, that red wolf would be pretty sweet. But where would it go? Oh, it could go down here. That's great. It's very expensive. And also, one of the things you have to be careful is the for the first player, the um, the game timer is so much more relevant. Oh, yes. The it very much is. Yeah. In multiplayer games, you almost never get to the game, game timer. Usually people are grabbing animal cards and their board fills up pretty quickly. But in solo, you have to really be careful about when that game timer is flipping over. Um, because it, it catches you up pretty fast or catches you off guard pretty quickly. Also, for those of you who are watching, um, the solo mode, it can also double as a co-op mode. We are still kind of refining um, the rules and double 
checking that that is going to be a valid great option for solo but so far we've had a few play testers play it and we're just getting a little bit more eyes on it as well and it seems to be working out really really well so um pretty much co-op mode what how it functions right now is that players will just alternate their turns between um between actions still sharing a similar board just like you would in solo mode and it seems to be a very fun way for couples to engage uh parents to engage with younger um younger kids who want to try out the game and are just getting used to it and a way for people to kind of teach and learn the game together so um so far it's worked really really well we'll reveal rules and information oh well <laughs> the rules are already actually posted on tabletopia if you guys want to check that out um they're not the final final rules um like we say in that rule book but you guys can go ahead and look at that if you're interested Nice. All right, so that's one synergy. That seemed expensive, and it was. Oh, and it's endangered. Thank goodness. All right, so let's keep this Oryx moving. Oh, but then I'll have to take a spring card. Let's not do that. Um, let's research... Two research tokens on an endangered. Yeah, get that Oryx go in all right and discard two cards and sugar maples this game and i have to copy our twitch channel <laughs> what's really cool about the um the field journal is we've been able to showcase so many national parks from yes. um, all over mexico uh, canada well the northern part of mexico for the most part um the united states and Canada, and we were able to kind of give each country and talk about the really cool places um, for nature in each location and, you know, what they're going through and what specifically in each area is, is needing protection at the time, which is, uh, it's been a ton of research, but I'm, I'm very pleased. I guess I'll get that prairie dog. I am just recklessly spending Isaac and that can't be good. I'm just double checking if I'm spelling America correctly right now. <laughs> <laughs> Have we I gotten to that part of the I night, Isaac? Spell, uh, yeah, I can't spell America anymore. <laughs> uh, we'll see. You guys can correct me online. <laughs> but I'm sending out the tweet right now of the special rules uh, of the assignment six. And I will send you guys the link in the chat here in a second if you guys want to check it out. All right, I will I'm do this. I'm going to choose to pass on the skill, but I still get to discard. Just got to get rid of this grizzly bear. I don't honestly know if I need this golden eagle. Get rid of the marsh snake. Let me see if I can copy a link. I don't know if I can copy a link <laughs> of the exact tweet. But I certainly can copy a link of my tweet, and hopefully I'll retweet it on Rose Gauntlets as well in just a moment. All right. Two synergy. All right. So now we got some money. Let's get this Oryx moving. We need to get it all the way around the board before the end of the game. A little calm down, Cactus. Oh, that's what I needed, a black bear. I've never <laughs> seen a black bear in a desert, but our research says that happens sometimes. And I would imagine it's terrifying. A place that has rattlesnakes and black bears and giant antelope from Africa that are as big as your car <laughs> all just roaming around. <laughs> wow, you're moving along quite quick. Yeah, sorry. I'm a really quick decision maker. For the most part, so <laughs> I don't know if I was the best. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just do this, this, this. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So let's get rid of this. We are not going to need this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so people can see your board a little bit better. And uh, they'll just understand that wild cards are going to be out of frame. Wild cards are out of frame. I don't have the money for wild cards, Isaac. All right. <laughs> There's no money for this. All right. So once per turn, I can do this. That's my first turn.
Oh, I think I screwed myself, Isaac. <laughs> All right, so we'll get the three synergy. You have plenty of uh, actions you can use your skills to save yourself. We're <laughs> amping up here. <laughs> amping, Isaac, it's amping. I need to get... I can only do this once per turn. I didn't account for it. You'll be okay. <laughs> it's not going to be okay, Isaac. It's not going to be okay. I need... Is there... Nope. We have just... Alright, the game is going to slow down real... Like, a lot right now. <laughs> I think I screwed up and you might gotta, have to try to you save get myself. Those, you gotta figure it out. Uh, Jeff has stopped by in the chat saying hi again. Um... He says, what if a black, <laughs> he says, Lindsay, what if a black bear was riding a giant rile snake? Also, hi, I'm making it over stuff. No, I, <laughs> then you know what? Lindsay's done. Uh, flat, flat response, black bear is total, uh, totally thematic uh, for the assignment. Ran into a pair of cubs last time I was at, at the Great Sand Dunes. <gasps> wow. What? That's so cute, flat oh, response. Oh, that's so cool. I have never been, Isaac, have you, to White Sands? No, uh, I don't believe that's, like, what section of that in the country is Is it again? I forget. It's on the edge of the Chihuahuan Desert. Um, so, like, near Arizona. Um, oh, what's the name of the city? Is it Yuma? You, no, I... it's not. It's a super famous city. You look it up. Because there's no way that yeah. my brain's gonna like yeah. do this All right. and this and the strategy. I will, I will go ahead and like white sands, because I did go out to dunes out in Yuma. White sands are the white sands are in New Mexico. <laughs> so, New Mexico, right? Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah. I knew so it was like I my brother not, I, Albuquerque. I dunes that's what I was out thinking. In Yuma, of. But I have not been out to those in New Mexico. Thank you, chat. Uh, and that was Jeff that <laughs> let us know. And so also uh, Jennifer, I believe. Um, cool. All right, so on my turn, I move the Oryx. On my turn, I'll do this. I'll pass if I need to keep discarding. Geography is not our best strong suit, unfortunately. It certainly isn't sometimes. right now. Um, All right, get rid of the sorry cactus. I I'm usually very good at like desert. local geography, though. I feel like I know where I'm going. <laughs> Golden Eagle, sorry, you need to fly away. This is what happens when I'm tired. I talked, or when I play a soul game ever, I just oh, talk my cards. I'm like, you get out of here. No, wait, I apparently the chat. <laughs> Halfway between um, uh, El Paso and Tempe, Arizona is where it is. Or Tempe? Is that how you said Tempe? I believe so. Right, so the orcs moves. Isaac, remind me to move the orcs every turn I have. Move those orcs! <laughs> need an endangered animal. Ooh, that's an endangered animal. But needs a combo or won't count. What's also nice about solo mode is it like really really stretches your your need of um, synergy tokens. Which why is there a synergy token on your pronghorn antelope right now? <laughs> I don't know why is there one on my mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> is it you're in your supply? Uh, I'm guessing that I'm just so distracted that I'm not taking it. <laughs> Did you say orcs? <laughs> Legends ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's orcs in the game. <laughs> <laughs> neither one, neither orcs or oryx should be in the sand. The whole point is neither one should be in the white sands. All right. <laughs> the orcs and the oryx are just wrecking white sands. They need to get out of there. Can you imagine like walking around the desert and then an African giant antelope just like walks in front of you? And it's an animal so iconic to Africa that shouldn't be where you are like, at all. It's like the size of a car. It's so interesting what humans do. <laughs> Why? Why is it here? All because of the 70s, some big game hunters wanted to, right. to do that. And now, we're and now they're in everywhere. A yeah, now we're in a situation where they're wrecking things. <gasps> I need that gopher tortoise. Do I have enough? I do, but I don't know if I'll have enough for the Oryx then. Doesn't matter. We gotta go for it. It's worth it. <laughs> Flat response says, um, uh, <laughs> Orcs are definitely invasive species as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I went to a lot of parks. Um, So, Legends DM, I just realized that I'm... Let me read it out loud. Legends DM said, growing up, my dad used to take us to all the different national parks, and that's awesome. 
Um, I did not, my dad didn't take us to national parks, but we went to this hawk reserve, um, often called Hawk Mountain, um, that I really adored, um, out near Harrisburg, where I grew up, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, well, the bison, oh, I guess the bison is a desert animal. This is, like, the best part, is I learn, I'm like, oh, bisons, what are they, oh, they're actually, like, yeah, plains, they're the Great Plains, <laughs> iconic animal. <laughs> Only three more cards left, Lindsay. I know. We gotta get these orcs moving. <laughs> I did not take this game. It's okay. Oh, it's God. So oh, God. We're gonna just keep doing these skill Maybe. tokens to try to buy time. <laughs> um. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to put two research on an endangered species, and that's definitely going to be the gopher tortoise. Nice. All right, new turn. Desperately moving. Oh, well, hold on. I need to think. Maybe that's not what I want to do. I don't <laughs> see a way out of this, Isaac. Ooh, uh, Board Game Feast uh, just retweeted our image, and you guys, I love this trend towards scenarios for solo gameplay like calico but rose gauntlet is taking it to the next level oh so you. that's awesome thank you board game feast appreciate that there is happening more often too because the crew kind of has like this cool little story to it as well yeah um when you play through that or search for planet x which is what i've been calling it and then isaac and i realized that we were talking about the same game and had two totally different names for it <laughs> Um, all right, so we've got four or five. So a three here would be sweet. So let's do that. That gives me just enough. All right, so that gives me two synergy. That gets the orcs one spot further. That mule deer does not help me at all, <laughs> actually. There's no need to be excited about that deer. You. That mule deer is a saint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think you're going to get 80 points? You're so close. I don't know. I have... We gave them really hard skills for this one. <laughs> I know people beat it. Like, we know people beat it because the playtesters crush oh, yeah. it. Play the playtesters said it was too easy, and how dare you? This is really <laughs> hard. <laughs> No way. You're just good at it after playtesting 575 times. Solo mode, I think, is also, like, a different kind of, like, skill set. Because you, you have to, like, really figure out, like, okay, here's a puzzle. I have to figure out how I'm going to address the puzzle and also, like, really balance the resources that I have. So yeah. it, can, it can be really, really neat. All right. So I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to gain three. I'm not going to do the rest. Um, and that makes this... Alright, so the next time these skills go up, the game will end. But it also allows me to get more cards off this field, so we'll start doing that. Get out of here, Lemming. You're not a desert creature. Do lemmings only live in the Arctic? I actually have realized that I don't know anything about lemmings. <laughs> <laughs> if that is what this game has taught me. They live in like, alpine it, Arctic settings. That's habitats. crazy. Yes. Like, oh, I but there are different. There like, are I, different types of lemmings. FYI. Well, ours is the cutest. All right, so I'm gonna move the orcs here. That means I still need to move it one more space to get it out of there because I can't put a card down here. Uh, Thinker Themer is dropping by to say hi. We are so excited. Uh, for your publishing oh, journey. You. We love you guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. We're big fans. No idea. Don't watch sure. this representation of my gameplay. <laughs> oh, I would are, be embarrassed. You are catching <laughs> us on the last day of 28 hours of streaming. Uh, we've been streaming for the last three days, but uh, we'd love to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope yeah, you enjoy you. the preview of the solo mode. If you guys want a closer look, at uh, the field journal, you can hop into the chat, like scroll up. You'll see I posted a link to my Twitter page. I also just retweeted it on the Rose Gauntlet uh, Twitter, which is just at Rose Gauntlet on Twitter. And you guys can see the preview in 
more of the larger setting on your computer and you can see everything there and you can download the image Come if you on. want and try it out maybe that's what i need let's see do you guys have all the animals you guys want to have access to some of the skill tokens in tabletopia because they're random <laughs> okay i think i think we might be able to pull this off you can do it oh it's gonna be so close it's gonna be so close <laughs> Um, thinker, thinker I responded. need that ferret. Oh. <laughs> Chat, how do I get the ferret? It's too far. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I don't have enough money to get the orcs and the ferret. I could just get the ferret you, and leave the orcs. You the can, orcs. Oh, well, you can't flip over your ash. <laughs> I can't. I need um, the ferret and I need to do this skill token. I think you're going to have to take that Northwestern Grey Wolf if you want that, if you want the ferret. Or you could flip over and just discard two cards. No, because I need this. I need this skill token. <laughs> oh, I yeah, need this skill token. You don't have any other endangered. <laughs> because that's going to be the boost. Oh uh, my god. Th Thinker Themer uh, responded. All oh, lol. Thank you so much. Love what you're doing with in the industry. We really appreciate that. Thank you, Thinker Themer. Oh yeah, thank you. You two are also doing a great job at helping oh, yeah. bring in more. Um, representation in the industry, helping it talk about its issues, and we really appreciate you as well. Um, um, we have Jennifer. Uh, she's giving us some more awesome information uh, as well. Uh, Black Canyon um, of Gunnison is my favorite national park. It's a pain to get to, but it's nearly empty as a result, and so impressive. Ooh, Ooh that sounds good. I want to be one to go to some of the national of that parks right now. The best part about doing research for the Field Journal was getting to research so many national parks. And sometimes there was a bit sad because I am trying to look for yeah. like what issues are there. But the parks are so beautiful. Um, and then some of the some of the assignments, I just just talked about how pretty everything was and how amazing and like what a good job people are doing in those locations and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. This is going to be the last turn. <gasps> if I end the game, I won't be able to research it. <laughs> I, there's no way i mean i'll get it but that is right oh my oh, gosh oh there is no you should have thought of a better way <laughs> I know, I, sorry, I, isaac Lindsay. you designed the solo ones yeah i just wrote the I, story why are you making me i love it do i it? love it i loved <laughs> actually this was one of my favorite like design um challenges of the game like i just really really enjoyed working on it and refining it and jeff did an amazing job as well mm -hmm. um <laughs> legend says i like how isaac I is just it. laughing at let's see playing see solo <laughs> that's what i do oh. i'm just like i'm just always incredibly uh joyous at seeing my friends struggle through my designs <laughs> and trying to win <laughs> All right, you're so evil. Oh my god, you're so evil. All right, I think I know I got two of the objectives. I don't know if I got the third one, the eighty points. Do you want to? Do you want to calculate it, or should we just just hide? Um, you're gonna have to, you're gonna want to calculate it. So let me go ahead right. and pull up um the. I've got a final score counter if you want to use that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and just do the final score counter. I mean, I don't, it's not like a very official. It's just, I right. have this thing that Actually, counts yeah, things. Actually, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and pull out the <laughs> Excel sheet because that's probably better to do. So I'll go ahead Rable and Rable says, if you're looking up Black Cannon um, of the Guinnesson, try to do the Google Earth fly through. It's freaking awesome. So do the Google Earth fly through so that we can delay my loss of this game. What's your favorite national park, Isaac? My favorite national park? Um, hmm. I have not honestly been to a lot of them. It wasn't, um, it wasn't, um, a lot of opportunities growing up and I haven't gone too much since as an adult. I really should, but I really did enjoy, I went up to a national park in Canada. I don't know if this is the exact name of the national park, um, but I know it was like the area. It's called Lion's Head. 
Um, and I went up there um, with my Boy Scout troop. Nice. <laughs> I was in Boy Scouts for a little. I didn't bit. know you were a Boy Scout. Were you really a Boy Scout for a for a time? <laughs> Not <laughs> much. Um, and uh, it was just incredibly beautiful. It was like the first time I'd been around cliffs. Like, I grew up in Ohio, so I was just around, like, flat land. Though there's some areas like the Hocking Hills that I discovered later as an adult, um, um, as I was younger. Um, or, I mean, as an adult. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they had some amazing cliffs. It's, oh, my God, the water was crystal clear and beautiful and delicious. <laughs> That's the first time I drank water from a stream, and it was amazing. So that was a great, great time. I really should go visit more. In fact... What I was saying is like we should do a um, we should do a, uh, a tour a, a national parks tour. Oh, which totally. We go, when we go play Keystone and uh, uh, just just enjoy it with each other. Well, how's this? If we can convince them to put the game in the in the national park gift shops, that will celebrate by taking <laughs> a national park. There we go. National park tour. There we go. Let me see where that's crazy. I never thought because you grew up in Ohio. I actually grew up in the Appalachian Mountains. So oh, I yeah. haven't really experienced a lot of flatland. I experienced a little bit more of it here in Michigan. Um, but that would be crazy. I didn't really realize when I was growing up how lucky I was to grow up in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, and I really miss them now that I'm in Michigan. Michigan's amazing. The lakes, oh, I love the lakes. So cool. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, for sure. I just uh miss miss the mountains a lot i am putting up the excel sheet i apologize in advance i don't know what happens to obs so i That's apologize right. again oh uh, i see oh you just it seems you just crashed oh it. yeah it double it double screened um here we go <laughs> don't worry ignore that y'all yeah don't look at that secret <laughs> animal totally exposed that no one was supposed to see <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and score Lindsay's points here um i'm gonna cover up my face so you don't have to say eh, maybe not you know, people want to see my face yeah. do you all want to see my face <laughs> i'll just put this up right here um oh, that's in perfect. the corner and uh just lower it a little bit there you go um and i will get rid of this Boom and get me, out. Well, get you're ready. I am ready now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <that's laughs> that was a thought. whole thing. I had to thing. think about um. I had to think about the national park question. I need to go to more. That's the answer. Um. I think Glacier Bay. Just to interrupt for one second. Just <laughs> Glacier Bay of all the national parks that I researched for the Field Journal, Glacier Bay looked like the coolest one that I really, really want to go to, <laughs> and I hope that uh the story i wrote for that one is good enough for what looks like the coolest park ever very cool um uh thank you for loving my face jennifer and i'm glad <laughs> legend uh that you want to see me laughing at Lindsay's score <laughs> <laughs> all right what is your score for c1 let me why did this all go right all the way down uh here? three four right five here. six seven fourteen 14 it eh? That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like you're doing too bad so far. What are you doing? Uh, what is uh, score for column two? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen. Oh, fourteen total. Wait, wait hold on. Seven. Uh, <laughs> twenty-one. Right, because seven times three is twenty-one. Lindsay, you got this. You got this. I trust you completely. Anybody, if you guys are checking her score and you say she's wrong, tell me. <laughs> he'll, he'll believe you, is what he'll say. He'll go, right yeah, now I'm just probably. believing Lindsay because I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Too much today. All right, All right next column one. three, yeah. It's going to be eight. <laughs> eight. All right. Cool. I feel good. This is a good start. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too not bad. Not too bad. I'm All like right, hiding so... the score from the chat. They can't quite see what it is. I'm gonna One, two, maybe... three. Let me make it a little bit. Eh, 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 eh. No, they can still see that. Doesn't matter. Oh, no, I just revealed it. There we go. Oh, oh okay. Cool. All in the DM said <laughs> I've been enjoying Rose Gauntlet today and a little bit I saw the other day. Oh, thank you. Thank we really you. enjoyed having you in the chat, too. Yeah, we really enjoyed that. We we are so happy to have um, people coming by um, and 
we just love interacting with you and want to continue interacting with you. So please, like, just let us know how we can answer any of your questions or um, do just anything better us. as well. Just laugh at us. <laughs> um, column four, Lindsay. Column four is one, two, three, four. Well, four. It's tw- no, it's twelve. Twelve. I was just okay. being dramatic in my counting, <laughs> and I was slow. <laughs> All right. The next All right. Oh, oh, oh! Less. Flat response says C two is actually eighteen points. <gasps> so let's wait. See what one, happens. two, three, four, five, six. You don't have the cottontail rabbit as a. Oh wait, do you? No, yeah, they're right. I just don't know how to multiply. Like, <laughs> I, was like, I haven't eaten anything I since know. a small sandwich. We're very tired. <laughs> so it's eight. I'm going to keep using that excuse, although like I shouldn't be able to do this like on my deathbed. Thank you. <laughs> this Thank is you really flat basic response. math. <laughs> Thank you, flat response. And way to go for being on the ball and knowing how scoring works. Yeah. We really appreciate it. That's awesome. Glad you're getting into the game. Um uh legend says it's 2 15 p.m here and i need to eat a late lunch myself <laughs> yeah. Isaac, i still need to eat lunch <laughs> all mm. right uh row one Lindsay. row one my rows are a little less impressive <laughs> um yeah so i guess one probably the best one i can do is one two three four twelve all right, row two. All right, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So one, two, four, five, six, 18. 18. That's awesome. I think I'm going to hit it. I'm feeling good now. See? Now, now you're confident. Yeah, now I'm feeling confident. good, which is See? good because out of 20, this is only six out of 20. <laughs> so, like, I should be, like, after playing it so many times, I should be able to get at least halfway through this field journal. Um. Ooh, I'm Legend's too. saying, I think I might find some food at the Ala Mona Mall. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh that lets us know you? where you are. <laughs> yeah. Like, where? It sounds like you're in a It sounds delicious. <laughs> 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 Whatever you're eating, uh, please let us know. Uh, if, please, anyone that's in the chat, feel free to always send us pictures of good meals on our Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, or talk about food. Hey, Rose all Gauntlet, the time. Here's a great food. Oh, Legends is in Hawaii. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it's I had, Hawaii. I'm so jealous. We had a trip planned to Hawaii. My partner and I had a trip planned to Hawaii in June of last year. And obviously everything got shut down. Everything got canceled. And that was so unfortunate because I was so looking forward to it. My partner uh, has been to Hawaii multiple times, but I have never been. So I can't wait. Maybe I'll find my favorite national park there. <laughs> sure I, I bet will. you will. I, I, we need to go, Lindsay. It's a business trip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, are you kidding? Of course, I've never been to Hawaii. That sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. But now, how amazing is your row three? It's uh, one, two, three, four. This is the one I couldn't research the, the endangered black-footed ferret. So that's going to be just a sad little eight points. Oh, but you have a keystone. Yeah, so it's eight points total. Nice. Yeah. And then row four. Or, oh, thanks for me. So keep flying and visit OZ. <laughs> nice, nice. Where is OZ? Because I hope oh. it's New Zealand. If you keep flying, do you hit New Zealand? Um, to go a little south, I think. I'm sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Finger Themer is in New Zealand, if I remember correctly. Or Australia. Oh, so he is Australia. Australia okay. Yeah. <laughs> I actually am proud of that I got that close. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah uh, I would absolutely love to go to Australia as well. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely want to do that. Um, we actually talked about doing the Keystone Australia, but like every animal would be so powerful. <laughs> we don't know how we balance it. <laughs> That like, they'd true. all be, like, level 5 predators. <laughs> it would just be a deck of level 5 predators. It would be so scary. <laughs> all right, Lindsay. This is the last row. What'd you get on that board? Okay. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Ten points on the last row. Nice, nice, nice. And did you have a secret objective for this scenario? I forget. No, no secret objective no for the secret... scenario. But yeah. I did get two points in synergy. Okay, so N, zero, and how many points of synergy? Two. Look at you. 
What did I get? I can't see. You got 102, Lindsay. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did you not. You did it. Myself Someone on hit the over 100 on the stream this weekend, and it was you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so cool. You did it. You that was it. fun. I have I have worked on this scenario, but I've never just gotten to sit down and enjoy it and play through it, and that was wonderful. Yeah, I've been playtesting them a lot. Um, yeah, like, it's mostly yeah. been your job yeah, to make been, sure that the mechanics work, and it's, it's my job fantastic. to make sure that the word yeah. count. <laughs> yeah. The word the count. I hate great, the word count. Like, that's why we're a good team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it, um thank you all so much i hope you guys enjoyed the solo play um i hope you guys get have a better understanding now of how solo play works um again if you guys want to go ahead and check out um more detailed imagery of the the field journal i went ahead and tweeted out that we're going to be doing more previews as we get closer to kickstarter date um feel free to hit us up on www.rosegauntlet.com and we'll definitely have more previews for you there eventually um and we're just going to keep doing everything we possibly can to make you know more about this game hopefully you guys all enjoy it thank you so much for being with us this week yeah we have, all we have truly we have truly received so much love and so much um support from you all um throughout this weekend and being here with all shucks like it has just been an absolute blessing we are so so grateful for all of you and please please feel free to reach out to us we are we are so happy to interact with you we really are and um just so you guys know um obviously we're not going to be doing our normal twitch streaming <laughs> It's not three days uh, <laughs> and a full weekend long, um, but we are streaming every Friday at 6 p.m. If you guys want to go ahead and be a part of that, we're going to be trying to incorporate more streaming into what we do, but obviously our focus is always going to be making sure that we're making the most excellent games we possibly can for you and making sure that Keystone has a very successful uh, Kickstarter and launch and is able to get into your hands in the physical world. <laughs> yes. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and try out Keystone, it will be available on Tabletopia. At least a multiplayer version of the game will be available on Tabletopia for you to play um, throughout the course up until um, after the Kickstarter is done, and we might leave it on even after that. Um, and if you guys want any more information from us, you can always reach out to us on any of our socials. Like I said, www.rosegauntlet.com, at Rose Gauntlet on Twitter and Instagram. And you can always come back here and ask us any questions that you have. Lindsay, did you want to say anything in closing um, before we go ahead and sign off? No, it was a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm, I'm tired. I'm so happy. I'm just like a tired happy right now. And uh, I just I had such a great time. And thank you everyone who's in the chat and hung out with us. It really just makes it so rewarding what we do to see yes. people's reactions. Yes, it's it's been a fantastic job, uh, time. And we... We have had such a great time with all of the guests that have come on. We've I feel like we've yeah. made some really awesome friends. We I already hope have so. we I already have been... like <laughs> we already have like six appointments to go play some games <laughs> with people in real life. Um, we've been invited to other Twitch channels, which is awesome. And yeah, we, we are have like going four to... different restaurants we're all gonna go to at some Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but Nina's gonna take us on a two city tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so like it's, it, we are going to eat so much amazing food and we can't wait to document that for you as well, because we are definitely foodies in, in addition to that. So we want to go ahead and, uh, give you guys a little, uh, uh, understanding of like, uh, different areas, maybe around conventions and stuff too one day. Um, so yeah. Uh, and if you guys ever had any suggestions for what you'd like to see on the channel, please let us know. We'd be happy. Yeah, to try especially to if there's particular that. games you want to see us play. Because yeah, we'll throw down sure. with anything. Sure. Um, yeah. We do play a lot of like uh, video games and sometimes board games and things like that, just because it's a good way to relax and decompress from board games all week long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but it's also a fun way to just kind of have something visual going on on the screen um, as well. And we'll also be demoing Keystone and showing different stuff. And we'll also be playing board games and inviting people on. We usually have a guest every week as well on Fridays. So feel free to check it out. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and sign off. And you guys have an, a wonderful evening. And thank you so much for your support at Shucks. We truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye.